Okay, before I start, let me just show you exactly what the Stadia app looks like on your phone. Looks like this. As you see in the top right corner, you can sync your controller. You've got your friends. This is where your friends are. Your friends list would be. And here is where you go into settings and you'll see your, your Stadia name and you can easily change your avatar and name whenever you so wish we kill it there I don't know what this is let me tap it oh so that's your buddy pass which no one will get right now as you see it there buddy pass coming soon we kill that now there we have a list of Stadia Pro deals now let's see we go to see all and this is pretty much where you'll be spending most of your time guys um, navigating to and from when you are um, when you are trying to do any activity involving Stadia so with the Stadia deals there we've got Assassin's Creed there's like three Assassin's Creed there no, it's all Odyssey then we got Final, Final Fantasy, Metro, Mortal Kombat 11, and NBA, Tomb Raider. So that's that's the deals going at the moment. Then we got the best of Stadia. So these are all the the top of the pecking order picks, I suppose. So we have Attack of the Titans 2. We got grids, we got guilt. That's the game I want now. I want I want the guilt game. I probably I'm gonna get that tomorrow uh, when I get my when I actually do get hands on my Founders Edition controller and Chromecast so I can Yeah, so screen screen capturing will be a bit more a bit more simple to do. Then you got rage there, then we got the classic the classic Red Dead Redemption 2 the masterpiece in itself and Tomb Raider and um, Wolfenstein so here is where you're gonna have to buy all the games guys and activate it once it's claimed you'll see it on your your Chrome browser and then we got uh, where's the deals so we got the Stadia Pro game, so this is where all the free games will be. At the moment we've only got two. And as you see I've already claimed it there. So that's a look into what the what the Stadia app looks like and what the store actually looks like. Then we got Explore and I'm not gonna go into that because half of the things there is not really ready for deployment right now okay guys Chew Gamer here with another episode I managed to get my hands on my invite code for Stadia today it came in my Gmail so I downloaded the Stadia app on my Sony as you can see my Sony XZ2 now I've entered all my details in and I've got my name and everything so you can go here you got the store and you can explore so you get with the founders edition that's what I've got see I've got all my I've got the code and everything but I still haven't got my my Chromecast or my Stadia controller yet but as you see I've already claimed Destiny you can't play anything on the Sony but you can load things up and um, install things and whatnot so I'm gonna go and grab Samurai Showdown because they're giving you two games for free with your with the Founders Edition pre-order customers as you see there you just go to claim and once claimed I'm ready to play as you see there but obviously I can't play here so I'm going to go over to my Mac the Mac Daddy so as you see in front of 
you I have my Mac here so all you gotta do is go to Stadia put it in there go, just go to stadia.com now from there if you've all signed up with your Google account and whatnot, you should just flip into the um, the Stadia store as you see this is where you can hook up your controller now I've already MacBook Pro so I can play this with my PS4 DualShock controller that's what we're going to do right now I don't know if it actually works yet I haven't tested it out but let me see let me try and go to the store Where, how do I get to the store I'll go like that and there you have it that's my Stadia name call myself Super Stadia because right now I should have all the power okay let me just boot into a game see how it runs okay apparently to go onto the store and select games you can't just do it on your chrome browser you have to do everything by your phone so the only thing you can do here when your chrome browser when it comes is sync your stadia controller which is a bit of a nuisance really it just makes everything a little bit long to um, when you want to change a game and stuff like that it could all be it, all, it, it can come a bit of an irritation but other than that let's just check it out because despite all the negativity on YouTube and and all the bad press going around Stadia I'm not going by that I need to I like to check it out for myself and run my own little test so let's get started then so I've I've synced my PS4 DualShock controller with my MacBook Pro so I should be able to get it started there you go that was pretty instantaneously so I have synced my DualShock 4 controller with my MacBook Pro also I've imported my Guardians from my last platform which was the PS4 so I've done cross play save and all that so I've so I should just get started with my same Guardians I had from my PS4 should go should go straight onto my Stadia game and I had all three Guardians so that's what should be displaying right now pretty easy to um, import your characters over with Stadia and as you see I've got all my three guardians there the ones that I had on my PS4 I've got my my Stadia name up there Super Stadia because right now I should have all the power playing with the Stadia database services should give me an extra boost everything in 4k but and I'm still waiting for my founders uh, my Stadia controller and my Chromecast but you can once you've got the code and you can um, activate your account through the the Google app or the or the Apple or the Apple store once you've activated that code you can just play from from normal browsers, you don't have to be a TV or you can play if you've got a Google Pixel phone and the good thing about it, you can just sync up any controller it looks like because this is running perfectly, look at that there's no latency lag here guys as soon as I go up, it's going up it's running pretty smoothly so I'm gonna jump in with my And the res the, the the resolution looks crisp as well, I must say. And my download speed is just over 35 megabit per second, so nothing special. 
and I haven't run into no lag at the moment everything is just running perfectly everything's working how it should be once again I've ne I haven't played Destiny for about a year now and I had no intentions of going back there because I wasn't paying for a full price game just for a DLC ever again they fooled me they fooled me twice they ain't given me three times but since with this deal if you pre-ordered it your founders edition you get all the DLC content ever made from destiny for free and you get the game for free so it's, that's a good deal and you also get the iconic game Samurai Showdown which is a definitely is definitely up there for one of the um, greatest fighting games of all time now let's see how quick this actually loads in and everything compared to my console because on the PS4 it takes it takes forever no it's not landing already is it so far no major change So I'm going to give this a quick five minute test to see how smooth it runs, if I run into any stutter, freezes or any delay on my button input. So make sure the, the latency is up to scratch. And then I'm going to give Samurai Showdown a quick spin because I've already claimed that as you saw earlier okay so look guys got, got, if I jump here let's see how the latency works I'm going to press the jump button now pretty much instantly I'm going up and down I move this move to the left Move it to the right, move it to the left, move it to the right. There's no lag in that. I just go straight into one of these strikes, isn't it? I ain't gonna go for a knife or I'm, I'm pretty rusty right now. I just do a normal Vanguard Vanguard strike. Let's see how fast we boot into this then. So, so far so good guys, there's no no issue with um, how the game runs on Stadia at the moment. But there is an issue with prices, that's where they're going to fail. Charging all that money for a game, when half the games are old or half price on different platforms. This should just be. This should be run as games as a service. Okay, let's just see how this runs then. I'll probably die straight away because I. I've got some crappy guns though. I quit that.
these guns I got is terrible. Don't know how I'm surviving. Okay guys, I haven't noticed any issue whatsoever playing Destiny 2 on the Stadia newly found platform. Okay guys, as, as promised, let's see how Samurai Showdown gets down with Stadia. Okay, so far everything's been good with Stadia. I've ran into no latency issues, no frame rate issues at all. Everything is just running smoothly. So, so far the response of the buttons and the analog stick and everything like that has been happening pretty much instantaneously so there's no drawback no lag nothing so let's see how this goes as you see guys you see on the hands on the analog stick look when I so as you see when I'm on the option menu and I'm scrolling through the tabs there it's pretty much happening as I'm hitting left and right there's no latency issues at all okay, I'm gonna go into story Story. so let's see how good the performance levels are when they're actually in a battle let's skip that the graphics are on point frame rates on point honestly it's just like I'm actually playing my console yep commands of basically running perfect when I press punch it punches when I press kick it kicks when I insert my motion move like that it happens how it should do yeah yeah guys I'm going to stop it there and say Stadia is definitely running flawlessly there um, if you've got the right if you've got the right bandwidth you have no no issues whatsoever with how your games run as for me like I say the only problem with Stadia is the price the pricing like the amount of money they're charging for these games which have already been out on other platforms they won't they would never be able to compete with the Sony's and the, the, micro, the, the Xbox the Xbox one and even the, the PC so if they're doing the same games for even more money of what them platforms are doing it for that's even more problematic for them so what they need to do like I say is run it as games as a service just like how the, the Xbox Game Pass runs like you pay 
certain amount of money every month and you have access to every game in the library like it, like 9.99 a month or whatever that will help their service much better than what they're doing now and the only way they can run it where they want to charge 30 pounds 40 pounds 60 pounds for a game is if that game is only exclusive for for stadia full stop like the only game i'm going to actually get when i get the stadia controller and my chromecast will be guilt i think that's how you pronounce it guilt because guilt is only exclusive for stadia and obviously when i think they're going to be the first to have dark side genesis for months and months that'd be good to i'll probably invest in that because it won't be for at least three or four months the other platforms will have it so it, that that's going to be like an exclusive for stadia but other than that if they don't make exclusives i won't be buying it uh i'll probably be going in and out of the services when I don't want anything or I'm finished playing something but when I want to jump back in and play something I'll, I'll go back into the service so yeah guys but other than that on the other side on the flip side of everybody saying how it runs trash there's bad latency and whatnot I haven't run into that issue yeah as for me it runs immaculately and it's very smooth very responsive and it's just like I'm actually playing on my console so um, yeah that's about it guys so that's how if you want to know anything of um, how to get your how to import your guardians over to the stadia or how to get it up and running just yeah, just leave some comments down below and I'll be happy to explain how everything operates. As for now guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.